Hey guys, this is CSDX, but you can call me Sean, and I want to tell a little story about Twitter Blue. How do I even begin with this? Well, for starters, it started with Elon deciding to buy Twitter and then trying to back out, but Twitter execs decided, no, we want the money more than, you know, having a good website. I mean, granted, Twitter before Elon Musk wasn't too great, but it's arguably a hundred times better than what Elon has done to it now. But anyway, the story about Twitter Blue. So a few months ago, I want to say either December or January, I ended up subscribing to Twitter Blue in plans to use the checkmark for good after being inspired by a number of uh, artists, struggling artists of the sort, that wanted to use the checkmark in order to boost their business, which I find admirable. Unfortunately, not only has it gotten so bad at this point, to the point that like anyone with Blue Twitter is now getting blocked, but when I got the check mark and said I would be using it for good, people didn't like that. People were very upset about that, and me feeling incredibly terrible decided to cancel Twitter Blue. The check mark was still there, of course, because I had to wait the entire month for it to go away. So I kept hiding it, and it kept coming back, and I kept hiding it, and it kept coming back. Granted, it took like about a week or so each time for it to come back, but turns out that wasn't what you were supposed to do when canceling Blue. I can't think of any other cases where this has happened. Uh, other than my my own case, obviously. But as it would turn out, hiding the check mark as soon as you are unsubscribed from Blue, or rather, like, as soon as the subscription runs out and the Twitter check mark is hidden, it still comes back. The system is confused into thinking that you still have Blue because you hid the check mark during the time you were unsubscribed from Blue and the subscription ran out. I was completely flabbergasted about this, and I remember contacting Twitter support. In fact, I got the email here just to check. I basically sent them an email uh, Monday, February 6th, or at least a bit prior to that, rather. It was done through the website. They responded Monday, February 6th, and then I responded a couple hours after that, saying that I do not have any access to the other features of Twitter Blue, so on and so forth. And I sent the email again with uh, an attachment the next day. Well, technically the same day, I guess. It was 1.15 in the morning because my sleeping schedule is stupid. And then four days later, I responded saying it's been almost a week since I sent the last email, wondering what's going on. So it's safe to say that even Twitter support is struggling thanks to Elon burning things to the ground. Not even running things to the ground, just burning things to the ground. I remember replying or giving a reply where they where rather I ended up berating them completely to because I ended up forgetting that I shouldn't shit on Twitter support staff for what's happening with Twitter itself. They are likely doing their best to handle everything. And they ended up sending back a sternly worded email, which honestly Yeah, I deserve that ridicule. But then of course like Sometime after that, I decided, you know what, screw it. They're clearly not going to help, so you know what I had to do in order to actually get rid of the checkmark? I had to pay another eight freaking dollars. No joke. It only went away when I paid eight dollars a month prior to it going away because, like, you know, I had to wait for it to run out while the checkmark was still there. And, of course, I got ridiculed for it, and I had to clarify in a pinned post in a freaking bio that, like, no, I'm not actually paying for blue. The checkmark glitched the hell out because Elon knows as much about coding as I do about rocket science. I don't know anything about rocket science. And you know what's crazier about this? Like, merely a few days or so, maybe about a week or so, I don't remember which, before the checkmark finally went away, Twitter support decided to respond and say, We appreciate your patience and understanding, but we see that you are subscribed to Twitter Blue. The checkmark will go away once you're unsubscribed. And I'm like, I mean, I'm not like that to them, but I'm like, No shit, Sherlock! And I respond saying that I had to pay for Blue again on the 14th of February because they took until then on... Tuesday, March 7th, in order to freaking respond about the th I think you're going to understand my frustration about that. I ended up sending them the another email about it again, in terms of how the checkmark glitched in hopes that they would fix it, but I'm going to go ahead and guess it fell on deaf ears. I didn't even get a response back from that email. And I even have video footage of me showing that I had the checkmark, but was not subscribed to Twitter Blue. Uh, if you want, I can link a tweet in the description below. I'll even show maybe a bit of footage for that if you want. Uh, but yeah. 
And as March 14th came and gone, the checkmark finally left. But now Twitter is getting even worse because of the fact that Elon, the empty-headed dumb fuck, has found a way to manage to remove all the legacy checkmarks, which, by the way, he kept on calling corrupt, but has never even acknowledged or established how exactly they're corrupt. Like, the man kept saying, oh, it's corrupt. No, the legacy verification is corrupt. Is it a corrupt? It is a corrupt situation. But like, how is it corrupt? You need to explain these things. There's a reason when it comes to accusations against sexual assault situations, or about sexual assault situations, rather, that there is like detailed descriptions backing it up. You can't just say, this person raped me, and then give nothing else about it. You can't just say, I am the rule of the world, and then never explain how exactly that works. Also, that last part is a bit crazy to even claim in the first place. And of course, it turns out some people got their check marks back, but oh no, it turns out in actuality that Elon decided to not only pay for their Twitter blue because... He's that freaking desperate to sell Twitter blue. But on top of that, they're only for people who have the check mark that have at least a million followers. The man claims power to the people and does not do that in the slightest. Oh, and speaking of power to the people, interestingly enough, there was a there started a trend involving blocking the blue checks, not back the blue, but block the blue in this case. And there was an account made to promote that, which immediately got suspended. The man claims to be freedom of speech, but you know what? He's about freedom of himself instead. Freedom for thee, but not for me. Well, from my perspective, I should say, from my pov. With him, it'd be freedom for me, but not for thee, because it's from his pov. And you know. I don't think this would be so much of an issue if Elon weren't so stubborn and idiotic about this. Like, he clearly is so used to people propping him up with yes-men like that. But uh, as far as I can tell, he is literally just... Here's the thing. Donald Trump is an idiot. Ron DeSantis can be competent, but is still an idiot. Elon Musk feels like both of them combined, but with... Far more idiocy running the helm. And you know what would make Twitter Blue actually worth buying? If he didn't try to increase the price on top of adding a fake-ass checkmark to it. The man ruined the verification process entirely for the sake of money. He is literally just making Twitter Blue the way it is so that he can make extra money to stuff in his already fattened pocket. He doesn't care for, he doesn't care about Twitter. He doesn't care about the people that support him. He only cares about making himself richer. That's what billionaires are usually like. They only care about becoming richer even though they have all sorts of money in the world to the point that they're like, making up, like, a majority of the wealth in the entirety of the world. Twitter Blue, before the checkmarks crap, was fine on its own. I appreciated the folders with the bookmarks. I liked the idea of editing tweets. Having tweets go as far as, like, 4,000 or so characters, that ruins the point of Twitter, but I can see why some people enjoyed it, or rather wanted it, especially since, like, you know... Let's say you wanted to talk about spoilers, but you had to mention the spoilers in another tweet, which someone could potentially end up seeing uh, inadvertently. I mean, granted, there's a hashtag here and there to say so-and-so spoilers, but, you know, still. Like, Twitter Blue would have been just fine if it just stayed the three or five bucks a month. Still don't know why it went to five bucks a month around the time that I had uh, resubscribed before they turned it obsolete. But, like, that was perfectly fine as it was. Elon decided to basically take what wasn't broken and try to fix it, inadvertently, not inadvertently, unironically, breaking it. I know this turned into a vent video of sorts, but... I'll just say this. In August of last year, I ended up getting a boost in followers. Granted, I lost most of them, but, like... I was very grateful about it. I was very humbled by that day. It showed that Twitter can still be pretty great. Especially when you have an audience that wants to listen to you and to all you guys that came here from twitter or are on twitter watching this whatever i cannot thank you enough for all of that which makes me sad because like there is going to be a likelihood that twitter will die because of one man's incompetence one man's greed 
and one man's inability to admit that he's wrong about something because he had too many yes men propping up his ego that needs to be popped and deflated. I mean, they say egos are overinflated or whatever. I believe that's the right term for it. Pop the ego. Pop goes the ego. So with all that said, yeah, Twitter Blue is completely broken now. It has lost all value. He took the check mark meant to make sure people didn't impersonate other people and just make it f not free for everyone. Actually, that's another thing. Someone claimed that they paid for the trick uh, for the check mark because they paid for free speech. You paid money for free speech. Paid for free stuff. Do you have even the slightest idea how moronic claiming that is? Do you even have the least bit of self-awareness to acknowledge how contradictory that statement is? Honestly, how do I even put it? Honestly, I would love for someone to just finally tell Elon no, even if it gets some fired. At least they had the balls to actually stand up to the bully that he is. But in all honesty, even if he were a bully, I don't think he'd be much of a bully because Elon Musk is arguably the biggest pussy I have ever seen online in my entire life. And that is saying something. <laughs> 